Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. November college visits kicked off yesterday, and they continue today, so get ready to mark your calendars with these dates. Remember to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center for these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. Luther College is scheduled to visit us today, and next week, the reps from Fort Hayes State will finally make their way here for their visit on Tuesday. And on Thursday, November 15th, the reps from UCCS are scheduled to be here. And after Thanksgiving, the reps from Adam Adam State scheduled a visit with us on the 29th. For those of you who are interested in finding out more information on Discovery High School, that presentation will be tomorrow during advisory. Check in at the Counseling Center for your pass to attend this event. Seniors, if you are planning to attend PPCC after graduation, be sure to mark your calendar for December 4th when Pikes Peak Community College will be here for application day. Their team will be here to help you fill out your application and help you select classes. You do need to sign up for an appointment in the Counseling Center before November 30th. If you missed any of these dates, Check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Attention seniors, if you took creative writing last year with Mrs. Wickberg or Mrs. Everwine and you might want to take an advanced course in creative writing, please see Mrs. Wickberg before this Friday, November 9th. And now we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. GLADS, we mentioned this to you on Monday, but we want to give you a better picture of what is happening in the world of high school sports. And this is big news. This past February, Chess's board of directors approved three new sports to pilot this year. Among these sports was girls wrestling. According to the Chasta website, last season there were 235 female wrestlers who participated with boys and even more who participated in girls only tournaments. This season will be the first of two pilot years for girls only wrestling teams. If the sport receives full approval, it will be sanctioned in the 2020-2021 season. Ladies, it's been a long time coming, so if you're interested in wrestling for WHS this week, Winner, you need to see Coach Walker in the Counseling Center for more details and information. And do it as soon as you can because practices start November 12th. By the way, the other two sports that were also approved for pilot years are boys volleyball with a spring timeline for playing and a co-ed unified bowling team, which did not have a specific timeline for playing. We'll be sure to keep you posted on this news as we get more information. In forensics news, the team is headed to the terror invite at Palmer High School this coming Saturday for a varsity tournament. We'll have scores for you next week. Remember that winter season sports practices begin on November 12th. You still have time to get your sports packet and return it to get your yellow card. Keep in mind that the first day of practices is not a school day for students, so waiting until Monday to get your yellow card is not an option if you want to practice the first day. In basketball news, the boys basketball preseason camp is going on now in Bowers Gym after school. If you are interested in trying out for the team, check in with Miss Miles so you can connect with Coach Johnson on camp information. Our ladies basketball team has two more days of their basketball camp from 3 to 4.45 p.m. in the small gym. Come dust off your skills at camp or see Coach Haas in room two for details. GLADS, the Gents Volleyball Tournament started on Monday and continues today at lunch in the small gym. Remember to bring your canned goods to watch the games for free. Otherwise, it will cost a dollar to watch the games. Stay tuned for Damon's Dose of Health on Friday when we will learn more about healthy eating this winter. And finally, we'd like to offer another note of congratulations to our Mighty Gladiator Marching Band who closed out their season in 12th place. They earned the highest score in Whitefield history at quarterfinals, which secured them a spot in the semifinals. Their performance on Saturday amidst exceptionally cold temperatures, windy conditions, sunshine, and even a short blizzard burst demonstrates how mighty our Gladiator marching band really is. They gave it their all and their hard work paid off. Well done, Gladiators. Well done. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to Cheyenne and Isaac for more news. Thanks for the update, Ethan. The Drama Department production of Dracula, the fall play, runs this week on Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $3 for students and $5 for adults. 
Come out and support your Gladi actors. And speaking of drama, auditions for Little Women will be held next week on Tuesday and Wednesday after school in the auditorium. You should have signed up for a time, picked up your monologue, and a song for your audition. If you have any questions or need some details, see Ms. Caps or Mr. Larson. Hey Glads, please return your completed federal aid forms to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Thursday. Uh-oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is, huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Happy Wednesday, everybody! And our friends here today. Happy hump day. Hump day? What's for lunchy today? Garfield's favorite, lasagna. lasagna. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Thursday we're gonna have... Yo, Rocky Balboa and Adrian, gonna make you some Philly cheesesteaks, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Adrian! Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. Thanks and have a great day, bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account online. Students, NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. You do need to stop by the library to sign up and get a pass, but they can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades. Glads, you still have time to order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55. Seniors, if you missed the Herf Jones rep, remember you must get your orders in by Thanksgiving and you can also place your order online. Student government is hosting the Harvest of Giving Food Drive that starts started on Monday and runs through next Friday, the 16th. All donations collected will be used by the 180 Club for their annual food drive. Please be generous as all of these donations go to the families of students in our school. Bring your donations to Miss Melton in room 103 and put them in your class box so you can earn Charlie Cup points. Additionally, we have some dress-up days to have some fun with this event. Here are the calendar of dress-up days for the rest of the week. Thursday is character day. No, not like honesty or virtue, but like Bart Simpson or that guy from Rick and Morty. Yeah, that's it. Friday is Color Wars Day. Wear your class color. Remember, your class earns points for this one. Remember, you can catch the Gents Volleyball Tournament for free today if you brought your canned goods. Otherwise, it will cost you $1. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.